hi guys here is my video response number four i am having a very bad hair evening because i got drenched in the rain uh you probably saw that delightful photo of my umbrella being destroyed in <laughs> uh the typical crazy new york rain but anyway armed with my tea ready to answer your questions uh, as I mentioned yesterday, I got two great questions from my uh, lovely friends and followers in California, Elisa Goodman and Riva Silber. So Elisa has a two-part question where she's asking, um, how do you prepare to work with an orchestra when you don't have that much time to practice with them? Great, great topic to be very mindful of. And uh, you're absolutely right. There's sometimes as few as one full rehearsal and then it's go time and so the single most helpful thing about the preparation process is very very active communication with the conductor there's uh, lots of phone calls hopefully there's a chance to meet in person and read through the piece together and discuss all the push and pulls of the piece so when that first full rehearsal comes everything has sort of been mapped out um, that really is the single most uh, important and helpful thing in terms of preparing. Uh, and then Elisa is also asking me about the challenge of living in an apartment building and having to practice seven days a week um, because as she puts it, I play these very large, intense, uh, loud pieces. So how restricting is that? Well, um, I have had a few little conflicts. One famously actually got um, immortalized in my 365 day project because I was recording Gershwin Concerto in F and had completely lost track of time. I didn't realize it was already 11 o'clock at night. And right in the middle of the video, this uh, neighbor, I don't still to this day know which neighbor, <laughs> started clanging on the radiator. And it was so late at that point, I just ended up having to use that video. Uh, and everybody on Facebook had a really, really good laugh about it. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, actually, uh, it's really wonderful to be living in New York City because there's so many creative, so many artistic folks. In my building, there's a whole bunch of musicians. So we just um, have this secret understanding, as, as it were, this unspoken live and let live uh, policy, and uh, we just make it work. So very, very grateful for that. Great questions, Elisa. Thank you so much. Uh, Riva is asking me the this question. I was telling my daughter how amazing you are and that you still practice every single day and she is a frustrated new beginner uh, so she's asking how many hours do you practice a day or a week? So this is for Riva's daughter Shira. Well Shira it actually varies depending on what I'm preparing for if I have let's say um, I've had a few emergency situations where let's say someone canceled and I was called in to step in uh, with a piece I'm not that familiar with. And so in those occasions, at those times, I was kind of going berserk and putting in eight, nine, 10, 11 uh, hours just to make sure I get the piece ready. Now, Having said that, that is a complete, complete exception. I do not recommend it. Uh, on average, I would do somewhere between two and four hours. Um, it really isn't about the quantity and how many hours I put in. I, I just make it a point that whatever um, amount of time I have for that day, I am accomplishing something. Like there's one specific uh, section or a, a piece or just one important goal that I know by the time I'm done practicing, I have pushed forward a little bit. So it's all about progress. And so let me just say, Shira, I am so inspired by you. I think young people going into music and even in spite of frustrations, uh, working hard at it uh, is absolutely the greatest thing in the world. It gives me such hope and inspiration so please keep going keep working hard and tell mom to put in the comments uh, details of your progress what you're working on i want to hear all about it i'm so so proud of you keep working hard uh, now i got today two great questions uh, from chris and uh, jean 
on Instagram. And so I will come back tomorrow and answer those. Um, please tune in. And if you still have something you really want to ask, you have time, please go ahead and put them in the comments and I'll be sure to uh, make a video response. I'll keep this going until January 1st. Um, and then uh, we'll ring in the new year and uh, perhaps I'll have something exciting to share with you guys uh, with regards to January 1st. Still working on it. I'll see you in the meantime tomorrow. Thanks so much, guys.